So how am I going to get my GPU to run in PCIe 1? Well, I have an idea. No, 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 a better idea. Well, that was easy. Alright, we are in GPU-Z, and as you can see, we are running in PCIe 1.0 mode. Now, it says 1.1, I'm not really sure if that's really that different, but I did choose Gen 1 in my bio, so I, I, I don't know. But, let's see how this goddamn thing performs. Alright, we're in, and uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're actually launching the game in PCIe 1.0 mode. I have zero clue how this is going to react to in any way. I don't know if it's going to stutter, drop frame, I don't, I don't really know what's going to happen. So, we're going to see. And... Holy crap. We're, I mean, we're running at like 100 FPS right now. Okay, this is definitely a lower frame rate, but not by much. If I remember correctly, we're getting about 120, 100... And, oh, we're still getting like 110, 150... This is like no different. I don't know if... I don't, I have no, I don't know. I'm, I... I... <laughs> What? I, 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 um, I made sure to verify I was running in PCIe 1.0 mode too, and it's like, I, I, I guess this, I don't know. I have no fucking idea. We're still getting well over 100 FPS. I will say, I do believe it's slightly lower. I mean, it's like, it's really like, not bad at all. Yeah, I was not expecting this. We are definitely a little tiny bit lower. I don't remember it dropping it from 100 at all. But this is like, we are literally like running this at max settings 1440p. I have no idea if this is actually like, <laughs> I don't know, bro. I, I, I did not expect this. I expected the frame rate to be all over the place. I expected it to start stuttering. We are actually playing this game. It is a pretty high refresh rate experience. I have no issues with it. It is definitely not as high though. That's what it is. It's like the frame rate is just lower. It's not a stutter mess. It's just, you know, it's just a lower frame rate, which I guess that makes sense. But I figured that considering we're using, we're using like 13 gigabytes of VRAM right now. Like, and, and it's also like high resolution. We're at 1440p. It's not 1080p. So, oh man, this is crazy. We are seeing if I have to make a little guesstimate, maybe like 10, 15% less performance, which for a quarter of the bandwidth, I believe is what it is. That's not bad at all, honestly. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what to say right now. This is like really, really playable. Holy crap. I am very impressed right now. So yeah, if you have a, if you have a, oh my God, get off of me, get off of me. If you have a, a PCIe 1.0 slot, this, <laughs> you can just pop a 6950 XT in it and have a lot of the performance. I won't say it's all the performance, so I can definitely tell it's a lower frame rate. So this is just one game. We don't know if the other games are going to react differently yet, so we need to make sure that the other games are not going to be a stuttery mess. They very well could be. This game could just be very optimized for bandwidth. But I'd say this is a good, this is a good testament of this performance. Uh, let's just go into the next game. Alright, so now we're in PAL world, and I have a feeling this game might be a little more sensitive to the bandwidth, just because of its early access nature. It might not be as optimized as a big AAA title like Resident Evil 4, but we shall see. And we're going to go ahead and just start the game. Alright, we're loaded in. This is literally like... It's like a little bit less, I guess. No, it's like the same. What the f- I think it's less. It might be less. I think it's like a little bit less. I don't know what to say right now. This is actually baffling to me. That I, th I thought this would be a in, in a huge difference. I, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but I, I did confirm in GPU-Z that I'm running this at 1.0. I'm gonna go over here and see if it, if it maybe does a little bit of drops. I think it's like lower. I think it's maybe like 20 FPS lower. It's the same story as Resident Evil 4 Remake. It's just- a lower frame rate and that's about it yeah we're definitely running a bit lower okay i will i will say this is quite a bit lower than oh, a little bit of stuttering okay i i was about right i was about right this is this is running a little bit worse than resident 4 remake we're seeing stutters okay I'm, I'm i'm relieved i thought i was doing something wrong for a second <laughs> So it seems when you start running around a bit and start actually doing fights, you can see drops and, and stutters and stuff. Ow, stop hitting me. 
Get him, get him, Relaxosaurus. Get him. And there, there are some slight stutters. Let's go over here to my little, my little town thing. About 89, 88, 87. It, it did drop frame rate and it is stuttering a little more, but it's still playable. I mean, like this is an entirely playable experience. You can play and enjoy this game if you're somehow limited to PCI 1.0. But yeah, this is just freaking weird. I really did expect there to be a, quite a bit more of a difference than what we're experiencing right now. Seeing this, I'm not really sure how the other games are really going to react to it because I, I thought this was going to be the hardest to run game on 1.0 mode but maybe it I mean it, it, it is the worst so far out of the two it's stuttering a little bit it's it's dropping frames but it's not like insanely terrible so let's go into the next game and see how that handles PCIe 1.0 mode okay all right we are in teardown and I don't really know if this game will be terribly affected by PCIe 1.0 I, I think it's going to be fine but you know we'll, we'll see okay we're in and I don't, I don't know if we're running any less. Are we running higher? I don't really know. It doesn't feel any different. It feels like I'm playing the same exact game on the same PCIe bandwidth. I could be wrong though. I'm going to make sure, I'm going to look back at my footage and make sure it's not any lower or higher, but we'll see. I will just do the same thing I did and see if there's any sort of drops that are unusual here. But I mean, it always drops like when I'm doing destruction, so I don't know. Okay, okay, you know, okay, 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 okay. I don't know, maybe, oh, hello. Maybe it's just me, maybe it's dropping a little more, or maybe that's what I want to see. Maybe I want to, like, believe that PCI 1.0 is just terrible. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, it just feels the same to me, bro. This feels like largely the same experience as 4.0 mode. I don't know, man. It, I mean, it. I don't know if it's me, or maybe it feels a little less smooth, or it's probably the fact that the building's burning down. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just reaching for things to 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 try and differentiate the two. I don't have any complaints. So I, I guess 1.0. This this game is 1.0 improve approved now. You know, it's it's it's, it's gonna run fine. It's gonna run great. I guess we'll try the next game. Hopefully, Minecraft delivers. I mean, we were running at a pretty high frame rate with shaders. So I'm gonna see if maybe the higher the frame rate, the easier it is to tell what the difference is. So let's see how that goes. All right, we are on Minecraft, and I'm gonna play in the same world with the same shaders, same render distance, all of that. And I. I I don't know. I'm, I'm expecting maybe a bit more of a sizable gap in Minecraft, but maybe that's expecting too much. All right, we are in. Okay, this is definitely lower. I'm happy. I'm so happy. Thank you. Thank you for showing us. Oh, it jumped up. No, it's actually okay. Okay. I'm actually so happy that this is substantially lower because I was scared that maybe I was doing something wrong. I thought that maybe GPUZ was lying to me or something. I don't know. But we are definitely running. But we were running at 200, 250. I was getting like 500 to 700 FPS. This is a lot closer to what I expected. So Minecraft is surprisingly the most sensitive to PCIe bandwidth out of all the t games we tested today. The one that had the least difference was honestly like Teardown and Resident Evil 4 Remake. Teardown and Resident Evil 4 Remake had like very little difference. We are getting like 200, 250. It is like, at least it's like a nice smooth experience where it is still playable. Don't get me wrong. It's still very playable, but it was, it's, it's nowhere near. It's, it's basically like a, a third of the performance that we were experiencing before, which is more in line with what I expected. In every game not just minecraft <laughs> but yeah i guess like it's very game specific all games are optimized in their own ways and you know geared towards different types of hardware minecraft is very spaghetti code so it could be that it is very sensitive to just specifically pcie bandwidth i don't know i would love to do more in-depth testing at some point maybe see more games or whatnot i'm running low on storage i'm very very <laughs> i'm like on the brink of death with storage so maybe when i get a storage upgrade i can install some more games we can revisit this we can revisit this but as for now this is like still a very playable experience of course like i said about one third of the performance but very playable nonetheless thank you for watching